Welcome, Cantor. It's October 2024. Davici here. It's time to dive into the ocean of karmic possibilities for you for this month based upon your horoscope. Apologies, I don't have the, uh, the desktop functionality this month, so uh, I have to do it like this. Oh, I'm a little bit crooked there. Let me just straighten myself out. Is that better? Yeah, so welcome to all of you. And uh, the important uh, event on the 3rd of October is that lunar eclipse that's going to take place in your fourth house. Family matters, real estate, peace of mind, inner happiness, mother, all of these areas of your life come under the jurisdiction of this fourth house. So the eclipse, which is a solar eclipse, is a karmic event that releases tremendous energy and gives you the opportunity to clear out all those old cobwebs. <clears throat> and these cobwebs are very much related to what's going on in your hereditary house, the house of your domestic upbringing, the maternal connection that you have. And consequently, the way you feel about yourself. You know, those early formative years have a lot to say about how easily we find it to be happy or how much of a challenge. Some people just can't be happy. And you know, you do have your karmic challenges, Cancer, being born under the emotional water sign. Sometimes you have a tendency to care too much. So having this eclipse in this fourth house may also be a call for you to just think a little more carefully about how you nurture others and whether or not you're nurturing yourself. You know, you have to nurture yourself. We see a couple of other important aspects. Jupiter ruling your ninth house of higher philosophical wisdom and the sixth house of, hell, uh, of work. Uh, the retrogression on 9th of October. Then we've got the direct movement of Pluto in your seventh house. That has been retrograde for some time. And now the transformative influences of Pluto are ready to deal their hand just before it leaves the marital sector of your horoscope. So that's pretty significant. You've been doing a lot of review. You've been recollecting the whole past scenario with the person that you're with. You know, any person you're involved with is a karmic outcome. Uh, and Mars and Pluto, Mars is edging towards that opposition to Pluto. That's very, very powerful. It's, it can bring in a lot of anger, a lot of resentment. You've got to be careful with how you handle this. Perhaps the transit of Pluto in its retrograde motion has put you in a position where you've been holding on to your feelings and not really expressing them to that most meaningful other. Now, there's a way out of this. There's a key here shown by Mercury moving through your fifth house of creativity, entertainment. <clears throat> Sometimes deep and meaningful discussions are not the way to solve these long-standing issues. Sometimes a good dose of laughter can be just what the doctor ordered. Mercury in the fifth has a tendency to do that as it moves into the opposition of uh, Uranus a little later down the track, you're going to find uh, immense opportunity for sparkling conversation, incredible new meetings because Uranus is retrograde in your 11th house of friendships. Mercury is going to hit the opposition of that. So it's going to trigger all these unique desires to meet new people, have uh, a less than boring life. <laughs> you're interested in dynamic activity, especially there on the 24th, when the moon makes its connection with Mars in your sun sign, that's going to activate your emotions even more. So the month is punctuated by these emotional roller coaster rides that would be triggered by that solar eclipse. Now, the sun rules your finances, the moon rules your self. So there's a strong tie-in, Cancer, with this eclipse associated with your identity and what you earn. And that sense of happiness that you may or may not be feeling is all tied in 
with this concept of self-esteem and the projection of that self-esteem on what you have, what you earn, what you possess, rather than who you are, how you feel, right? These are the important distinctions, I think, that are going to come up during this important eclipse cycle. Now, again, we see on the 30th, 29th and 30th, the movement of the moon over the south node, the past karma point, again, <clears throat> in this karmic house where the eclipse has taken place. Interestingly, the moon completes its cycle for the month in the very same area that it pretty much began the eclipse. So family life, peace of mind, resolving some of those inner conflicts with family, the sorts of issues that are going to come up this month. There's more information if you want to take a look at it. Follow the links below. Before you do that, please do subscribe, hit that like button and make sure that uh, we're on your radar. Um, drop me a line if you want. But there it is, the links to the October text-based readings for you folks. Um, looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you need to have something addressed, maybe for the, for the tribe, we can look at that. Give me your hints and your suggestions. I'm more than open to that. Look after yourselves. I'll see you next month. Bye-bye now.